Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I had a dream a couple nights ago. And I was in bed asleep. And I heard a very pronounced knock at my bedroom door. It was a knock, knock, knock three times. And I didn't say anything. And I heard a man's voice that came from the other side of the door. And this voice I had never heard before. And, and I know the voice of the Holy Spirit because I've heard it many times before. And this was not the Holy Spirit. And the voice said very clearly, Ready, Tony? And then I woke up. And I asked myself, did I just hear that? Yes, I did. Now this was posed as a, as a question, a question posed just for me. So now I ask you, are you ready to go home? How much are you praying? How much are you repenting of sin? Remember today there's sin and everything. Are you fasting? Do you carry your King James Bible everywhere that you can? Do you wear your sackcloth or rags and set in dust or ashes and pray? Maybe it's time. These are the last days. These are the last minutes, the last seconds. Please do not be prideful and refuse to do this. Remember, pride is a sin. If you are unable physically to do this, God knows. Then it, if it's in your heart to do this, and it will, then it will be the same as doing it for real. Remember that what you lust after in your heart is, do, is the same as doing the act. God sees all, God knows all, and God knows what is in your heart. Now is the time to humble ourselves before God, the God of Israel, the one who spoke the whole universe and everything in it into existence with words, that God. Cry out to Jesus, admit that you're a sinner and repent of your sins humbly, earnestly, sincerely, and beg Jesus into your heart to lead you and guide you every step, every day, and to give you a new heart. Look around you. Do you honestly, do you honestly think things will get better or worse? This world cannot save you or give you peace. Oh, but it can give you distractions. Lots of distractions. But our distractions will not save us, and you know it. Only Jesus can save us now. And no, no, Jesus may not save your life, but he will and can save your soul from hell, fire, and brimstone and torment for eternity. And only Jesus can offer you a new, young, glorified body and be young in perfect bodies, no more pain or suffering, and to be in paradise and be young forever without end. There are no clocks in heaven. No one has any time restraints or appointments other than our appointment with Jesus when we arrive in heaven. And there, there have been lots of videos and, and movies and TV programs that show depictions of paradise, but all that pales in comparison to what we really will have in that place. This is how much God loves us. 1 Corinthians 6 and 3. Know ye not that we shall judge angels, how much more things that pertain to this life. He loves us above his own angels, so much so that in heaven we will judge angels. We will have feet, but we will not need to walk. We will have food, but we will not need to eat. We will have air to breathe, but no one needs air. We will have feelings, but we will never feel pain. We will have light and heat, but we will not have a sun because our light and our heat comes from God the Father. Nothing wears out as everything is made brand new every single day. Our, our body parts will never wear out 
Our eyesight will never grow dim. Our hair, our hair will never turn gray in that place. And we will live forever in that perfect place. As God is perfect, and so is where he lives. And so will we be perfect forever. But what about those left behind? They have made their choice. And to not choose, they still have made a choice. Every one of us is responsible for our own salvation. And no matter how hard I pray for anyone, I can never pray anyone into heaven. All I can do is plant the seed. And that's all you can do. And pray the Holy Spirit will water that seed and make it grow. And open their eyes, open their ears, and soften their heart to the good news of the gospel. And the love and saving grace of Jesus Christ. And that is what we are supposed to do while we are while we are here on this earth, to give our testimony to others, so that they may find Jesus and the peace of Jesus. I want to remind everyone that the Azusa Street Mission and Revival is now an underground church, and it is to be considered a church. And the videos on Azusa Street is uh, the same as watching a church service. And that is why everyone should watch them and support Azusa Street Mission and Revival Church. The more the government suppresses the King James Bible and forces the Azusa Street Church underground, we will go underground as we will never conform and obey government over men, or government and men over God, that is. We follow God, the God of Israel. Who do you follow? We appreciate your prayers, love, and support during this step up and the movement to go underground. If we are here for the next Friday uh, prayer line, that will be Friday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we will be online until the last caller. Uh, if you do call in and we are talking to someone else, please hold on the line until we, we can get to you, and we will get to you as soon as possible. My, uh, my co-host is uh, Jamie Carson, and he is a street preacher from Charlotte, North Carolina. And he has years of service and working for the Lord. And he is, he is Holy Spirit filled. And he helps me pray for people on that line. And that number is 518-318-7813. These are the last days, and all of us need to be pleasing to God. And as there is nothing else we can depend on or call on to save us, only Jesus. Remember that you are a precious child of the Most High Living God who loves you and who treasures you above all the gold of the earth and above all the stars of heaven. So much so that God sent His only begotten Son to this earth to redeem us back to the Father by His own precious blood and the life that He freely gave to redeem us back to the Father. That is how much God loves us. And we love and we treasure you as well. God bless you. And God keep you in his loving arms, just like he held me. And we love you all so very much. And we thank God every day for sending you to us. I am nothing, just a lowly watchman, just the dust of the earth. But I am God's dirt. And God will use that dirt for his purpose and for his glory, as it should be. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. We're going home soon.